Hi, I'm Nadine Ansari, and in this video, I'm going to show you metallic option, specular option, and roughness option of a material. So without any further ado, let's begin. You remember from last video, we did talk about base color. We use texture sample, we use constant, we use 3D vector constant to draw something on this base color. Okay, so let's just do that first. So if you hold three and left click, it will create a 3D vector constant in here. And first thing that I'm going to show you is when you hover over it, hold control and alt and it will show you a documentation of that note and if you click on this see full documentation it will show you the full documentation of this constant tree vector and you can see it it will give you an example as well so now let's just give this a color for example double click on it make it red for example like this and connect this to base color okay and you can see in preview we can have it and if we click on plain view in here we can have it as well so you can see it clearly that it's it's red right so let's just again change it to a sphere in here why because i want to show you the impact of the light on this sphere it it, it is better to see light in a sphere mode okay but of course you can apply this this material in this preview preview panel to a, a static mesh so for example let's just go in a starter content and in here let's just se select one of these props so for example this one that everybody uses it for teaching material okay just click on it and in here when you go here select this break in here and you can see we have this and we can see it clearly right everything is working fine so we just connect a constant tree vector to this base color and we change the color of that and it's how it looked like okay and you can see the, the the effect of light on this without changing anything in here why is that it's different than this first of all because there is a light in this scene this preview scene in here you can see effect on that and how much this material is reflecting this light is by setting this metallic specular and roughness and with these options we can say if it should be metallic or not if it should be rough or not it should how much of color it should uh, stop how much of color it should dissipate and how it can dissipate that color okay so for changing the metallic specular and roughness we can use a texture we can use constant we can use three vector constant we can use whatever we want okay just remember what you are connecting to this metallic wherever there is white it means it is a full metallic and wherever it is uh, there is black it means it it's not metallic so let's just first start with a constant hold one click left click in here and connect this to metallic i don't want it to be metallic so let's just apply and you can see it clearly so if we click on this constant in here change its value to one it will be like metallic and you can see it it looks different it's metallic now so the next property that i want to talk about is this specular like this metallic we can use constant or constant two vector or constant three vector or we just can use a texture on it but let's just use constant for now Le hold one and left click create another constant in here connected to a speckle and it, it affects how it dissipates the light that is hitting its surface so right now it is at zero and if you put it on once the difference that it make in here okay uh, it's it's not easy to um, see what effects it uh, has on it but in better example i will show you what effect it has just for no leave it as it is the roughness that is most important one let's just create another constant in here connect this to the rough at zero it will be like this and you can see it can reflect the world around it it's like a glass right you can see it but because we set the metallic to one it's more like a metal that is so shiny that that you can see uh, yourself through it like a mirror right so let's just change this metallic to zero and the whole effect is here and you can see it's no like a plastic it's so shiny that you can see yourself like a mirror in it right so it looks like this so we did use constant in here let me show you how you can use texture with this metallic specular and roughness okay so what i want to do i want to change this uh, metallic to one again so you can see the full effect on that in this preview panel and i want to disconnect uh, delete this roughness in here and you can see um, how it looks like okay now i want to show you something else let me open up the paint resize this to something like this i want the size of this okay 
and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just um, draw something in black in here with this arch or just let's just select this and draw something in here and with that line let's just fill it up with black and you can see the top side is white and bottom side is zero okay so what it what it will happen when we apply this as a roughness in here okay for simplicity i want to change the preview shape to plane and you can see it in here it looks like this and when we connect that when we connect this texture that we create in here it means the top side the roughness of top side will be one and the roughness of bottom side will be zero so let's just save that in desktop i will delete it delete it afterwards so i have that texture let's just import it to our textures in my material i just want to import it here so import i did save it in desktop so let's just add it in here and i want to just drag and drop in here it will create a texture a sample and what it will do when we connect this rgb to rough and you can see now the bottom side that is black it means the roughness is zero and top side that is um white it means the rough Roughness is one, right? So that's how we can use this texture for our roughness, and we can do something similar for our specular and metallic as well. And you can see it, it looks beautiful. So we don't need to stop there. We can have a complex texture like in here. You can see there is a lot of textures in here and you can use them. And there is a lot of them online that you can just download those texture and use it in, in your scene. But I'm gonna show you another thing. You can see in here, we use this texture and how it works. Let's just use some of these textures in here, okay? So for example, this water texture, let's just double click on it. And you can see uh, if we disable the blue, green and red, and if we enable the red you can see it has some information some of them is white and some of them is black and in green you can see again it lo looks like that and again we can use just r this red channel let me show you let's just close this and go here and i want to use texture now and i want to use the red channel that i did show you if you double click on it in here you can see the red channel is look like this some of them is white that you can see in here some of them is pure black and you can see it and if we connect the red channel to the roughness effect that it has on our plane in here it's look beautiful right so let's just again go to a sphere one and you can see it has some cool effect on it okay let's just again go back to plane and you can see we just using the textures its channels and showing that channel we can create a lot of cool stuff in the next video i will show you how you can create a lightsaber with emission color so i think that's enough for this video in the next video i will talk about this emission emissive color that i think it's most beautiful things in material you can create a lot of cool stuff with this emissive color like we did for this metallic specular roughness again you can use texture example or constant for this emissive color and i will show you both of them how you can use them so that was it guys i hope you liked this video please if you want to help me hit that like button and subscribe to my channel it's my honor to have you at the end of this video thank you very much for watching bye